Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ Breaking News. Breaking as we come on the air, police are searching for a man who shot two teenagers in South Baltimore. This afternoon's double shooting leaves us with a staggering statistic. Seven teenagers shot in Baltimore City in less than 72 hours. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ-TV. A 16-year-old boy and a 15-year-old girl were rushed to the hospital. They are both expected to survive. The shooting happened across the street from Benjamin Franklin High School, and officials confirm the victims are students there. So WJZ Live right now, Christina Mendez was our first reporter on the scene. She is standing by, and she is standing close to the investigation, as she can get with everything we have confirmed so far. Christina. Denise and Vic, right now police are piecing together what exactly happened here. They're talking with witnesses and they're combing over some surveillance video, all in an effort to try to identify who that gunman was that opened fire toward a group of teens standing in this alleyway here behind me, injuring two Benjamin Franklin High School students. Less than an hour before school dismissal, Benjamin Franklin High was put on lockdown after a shooter sprayed bullets toward a group of teens who were standing in an alley across the street from the school. Two were hit. A 15-year-old girl is suffering from a gunshot wound to the back, and a 16-year-old boy was injured in the ankle. Both were taken to the hospital but are expected to survive. Administrators put the school on lockdown, plus canceled all after-school activities and the home game. The chief of schools, John Davis, says everyone is reeling from this latest incident and wants students to remain safe. Students are not allowed to leave the campus, right? The safest place for a student to be is in the classroom in their school. The recent gun violence toward teens in Baltimore City has police closely partnering with the school system. What's going on is is young people are making bad decisions. People are picking up guns and, and they're shooting our kids. And at this point we're doing everything that we can. We're working with school police. Baltimore City Schools does confirm that they will have school resuming here on Monday and that they'll bring in some extra staff to work with anyone who needs that assistance. I'm reporting live from Brooklyn tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.